Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at two products from a company called Koval. These are uh, charging devices. We've got a 65 watt uh, power delivery system that is a four port uh, module, two type A and two type C ports. And then we've got a 120 watt power delivery system, the same four port configuration. I believe the 65 watt runs around 40 to 50 US dollars on any given day based on sales. And then the 120 is more along the line of 100 US dollars, but also uh, that price will be softer on any given day. So let's go ahead and crack these open. Um, one of the devices I will be using this with for testing is the brand new Tab S8 Ultra, because as many of you know, it does not come with a charging brick. And I think these are the type of devices that are likely going to be ideal for a product like that, because it does support 45 watt charging. And if you're looking for an affordable and versatile product uh, to charge your Tab S8 Ultra, as well as other devices, these are probably going to be right up your alley. So, of course, the cable to take it to the wall, and then the unit itself, which is right here. I like that it's a small form factor, and I've gotten a lot of other high wattage, or I should say uh, devices like this that are rated for high wattage uh, charging. And this is pretty discreet, small, and I think that's probably what's going to be the most appealing factor to it, especially if there's no coil line or anything like that. You can see the ports that it has there, quick charge on the two uh, type A ports, and then of course, power delivery rated on the pair of type C ports. Looks like we've got some LEDs down there. Uh, and then essentially I'm expecting the exact same thing here from the 120 version, but it's just going to be bigger. And that's exactly the case. So you're also getting, of course, the same connector for the wall outlet. And then it's just a bigger uh, device altogether. So, you know, if you need the 120, obviously get the 120. It depends how much headroom also you want with charging other devices. This will be more dynamic if you want to power more uh, mobile devices, computers. Um, you know, if you want to trickle charge something like the G15, uh, I would say this is the way to go, plus charge a device. You're dealing with ultrabooks or tablets and just phones, go with the 65 watt. I mean, that's how I would look at it. Uh, of course, uh, you know, it's really a matter of what you're trying to do, but I'm gonna test these out. Again, it's the same port configuration and we'll see how well they work, but I think they absolutely serve a purpose. Uh, again, they don't plug directly into the wall. You're going to just plug one of these into it and then I actually think this design is kind of nice because you can wire this up to your desk to a more convenient position rather than it being at the wall. And that's why a lot of devices like this uh, end up giving you essentially a convertible function similar to what I covered with the Ego. For those of you that remember this device, uh, 200 over 200 watts of power delivery, and it can go directly to the wall, but then it also includes the ability uh, essentially to adapt. Uh, but this, I think, is... Uh, far more affordable, obviously, and readily available at Amazon, which again, I will include links in the description and report back how these or how well they work. But that pretty much wraps it up on these two uh, Koval uh, chargers. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them at that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.